Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The upcoming visit of Air Chief Marshal B R Chaudhary to Greece is seen as a major step in boosting the bilateral relationship between two countries. Historically India and Greece did not have much active engagement in military cooperation. Greece is also a member of NATO and operates Rafale as well as American F16C and D variants which could give tactical advantage to Indian Air Force against Pakistan Air Force. Another reason for emerging cooperation between Greece and India has been Turkey which is actively supporting Pakistan against India on both fronts diplomatically and militarily. At the same time, Turkey and Greece have long unresolved dispute over the control of eastern Mediterranean and Aegean Sea. What has got the Greece attention is the air launch version of BrahMos supersonic cruise missile because of its lethality and accuracy which can give the country edge over Turkey in disputed sea waters. However, the country does not operate Su-30 fighter jets which is the only platform at present that can launch this missile. Few months back, there was a report published in Greek tabloid Penta Posta Gamma having heading BrahMos the killer who can equip Greek Rafale the Hellenic Air Force is likely to test its Rafale with BrahMos missile. Now this has ignited the discussion among the defense enthusiasts if Rafale can be integrated with BrahMos. Rafale is the best fighter jet in Indian inventory and at the same time BrahMos is the best supersonic cruise missile in the world with a range of 290 plus km and speed of Mach 3.5. Their combination will be deadly and formidable. But can the integration of these two formidable weapons ever possible? To understand this, let's see how BrahMos missile got integrated with Su-30 MKI. For integration on Su-30 MKIs, the BrahMos underwent several critical changes including weight reduction from original 2.9 to 2.5 ton. Even Su-30 MKI has undergone several changes and had to be modified for the integration of the missile. The modification includes safe stores separation analysis consisting of vent tunnel and CFD that is computational fluid dynamic analysis. Watertight NMG numerical master geometry of the aircraft had to be generated from 2D drawings. A structural modification had to be within the aircraft's center of gravity envelope and in such a way that they did not alter vibration characteristic of the fighter jet. Carriage and release actuations along with electrical and avionics integration was another challenge. FTI that is flight test instrumentation for the operation along with missile system software modification also had to be undertaken these were just few major changes and there could be many more so you can understand it was not so easy to integrate brahmos with su30 mkis now the question is can this be done with rafale if you go by payload capacity the answer would be yes su30 mkis can carry payload close to 8 ton on their 12 hard points and the fal can carry payload of close to 10 tons on their 14 hard points which is quite impressive and better than su30 mki but the real challenge is not payload capacity but the dimension the size of rafal is 7 meters lesser than that of su30 mki while the length of su30 mki is 22 meter rafal's length is just 15 meter at the same time the length of brahmos is close to 8.4 meters so if brahmos is to be integrated with rafals it will hinder its landing gear Therefore the integration of existing BrahMos air launched missile is not possible with Rafales. However, India is also working on the lighter and smaller version of BrahMos missile called BrahMos NG. It will weigh between 1200 to 900 kg for the air launched version. The dimension of missile will also be reduced and will have length of 5 meters and diameter of 50 cm. The range of missile will be same that is 290 kilometers however its speed will be one and a half times of existing BrahMos missile which means it would be near hypersonic the maximum speed of existing BrahMos is mac 2.9 and it's expected that BrahMos ng will have maximum speed of 4.5 mac indian air force su30 mki will be able to carry five BrahMos ng and lca tejas will be able to carry two of them the integration of BrahMos ng with rafal is also going to be easier due to reduced overall dimension if india plans the integration of brahmos ng with rafale it will not only help indian air force but greece can also get benefited from this the addition of brahmos ng with rafale 
would greatly boost Greek's Rafal's anti-ship capability against Turkey. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.